All right, guys. In this video, we're going to talk about reed valves and window pistons. Okay. A while back ago, a couple months ago, I wanted to go faster, like we all do. I went out and I bought a window piston and a small reed valve. I believe it's the Reese made by Zeta and uh, that carburetor right there. I believe it's a Shaw 1515, whatever. And I had to go and buy all the jets. I bought 60 through 85. Anyways, it wasn't this engine, it was a different motor. So I took out my piston, put the window piston in, installed the reed, installed the carburetor. And I could not get the bike to run right. It kept bogging out, bogging out. I couldn't figure out why. I went through all the jets, 60 through 85 and it would not run. I thought it was the carburetor, so I stuck the NT carburetor on. Did the same thing. Bogging out, bogging out, went through all the jets. So I eventually gave up on that project. Put stock back on, bike ran great. Before I did that though, I asked people online and they said, oh, you got an air leak, it might be this, it might be this. No. Recently, I, uh, I played a raffle and I won this engine in a raffle actually from Zeta Motorsports. It's an iron sleeve stage two that has, uh, what does it have? A boost port, a third transfer port. You know, on the side you have the two transfers. There's actually four all together, two on each side. And this engine will only run with reeds because when the piston is at the bottom dead, center then takes open while the exhaust is open so this engine only runs with a reed valve anyways it came with uh, the reed, reed valve and the high compression head the Jake's head and I got it installed on my bike and it would not run right same thing I went through all the jets with this exact same carb and would not run right and a while back, I don't know, a while back ago, I remember someone telling me that the small reeds are too restrictive. That's all he said, they're too restrictive. So I went out and I bought an OZ reed. And in my, in my car, I had a, at the time, when I first installed it, was a 66 Jet. Bike ran awesome, perfect. So if you're new into motorized bicycling and you want to go fast and you want to get a window piston and a reed valve I recommend getting OZ reed yeah the OZ reed don't get the Reese reed I actually there's a bigger reed but I can't remember the name off the top of my head but whatever yeah the bike runs great I can actually jet down to 62 and it will still run once I go below 62 it starts to lean and if I go to 67, the engine bogs down. So 66 is where I think it runs great. So yeah, if you guys want to get a window piston and a reed valve in this car, I recommend getting OZ. Don't even bother with the small reed. Some people, they say it works great, but in my experience, it doesn't. Don't even bother. Just go ahead and get the bigger reed, the OZ reed. Or even get the one that's bigger than that. But yeah. Get the OZ and put a 66 in the car to start off with. And if that does, if it's too rich, I don't know, it's in the range between 62 and 66. Hopefully, this video helps the new people. Like I said, I try to get help from people online and didn't really get much help. But I remember that one guy told me that the Reese reeds are too small. So. There you go.